When Sibelius is installed on your machine, it also installs another couple of programs which are quite important. They are Audio Score and Photo Score. Photo Score is what we're going to look at in this video, and what it lets you do is import music from already printed music, whether it's printed or handwritten. And you can turn it into a Sibelius file, which you can then carry on and edit from there. Let's have a look at Photo Score. Here we have, um, I can click continue and we're ready to start importing stuff. Now, I can, if I had a, a scanner attached to a machine, I can click scan pages and it would scan the pages and add them to this list down here. Or if I want to open a PDF version of a score, I can do that from there as well. So let's have a look. These are ones that are already been scanned already in the system. So let's have a look at this one here. This is a book that I have called 100 of the Best Movie Themes. This is page 17. So what I'm going to do is ask, Sibeli, is ask a photo score to read that. And it reads it from there and creates it over here. Now, let's explain what I'm looking at here. Right at the top of the screen up here is the actual music that photo score red over there. This is a, a picture of the actual printed music. This over here, the full detail view, is a close-up version of this area here. And down here, the main window, is what photo score thinks it looks like, what it's going to transcribe it as. So let's have a look at what we're doing. If you notice, if I move my mouse around the bottom area here, the corresponding mouse moves along the top. So I can always compare what I'm looking at here to what it should be looking at at the top. I can scroll up and down. I've also got a keypad here, so if I want to make some changes, I can do that in the same way, using the keypad as we're used to using in Sibelius. Now, you may notice that sometimes you get this dotted red lines here. And what that's saying is that there's a problem, there's something not quite right, and I'm not entirely sure what it is. Well, let's try and figure it out. Looking at here, if I put my mouse over this bar here, you can see I'm comparing it to the bar up at the top. That looks exactly the same to me, but up here it says plus, and then that's not a zero, that's a semi-brief. So what it's saying is that there's eight beats, sorry, there's four beats too many in this bar. Well, there obviously aren't, but when you go back, if you look over here, behind, if I just move that out of the way, you can see it is... There's a bar line missing over here. So what Photoscore is doing is, is expecting this bar here and this bar here to be the same bar. It's obviously not. So what I need to do is add a bar line in here. So I can go to the Create menu up here. I can create a bar line. I can pick what type of bar line it is. This one here will do fine. Blue arrow tells me where do I want to do it. I want to put it there. And now this bar is now correct. Let's have a quick scan through, see if there's any other errors. You can see it's reading multiple voices quite nicely. It's reading triplets quite nicely as well. Oops, now here's a problem. What's the problem here? Um, okay, it says that there's a semiquaver not enough. And if you look, one beat, two beats, three beats, three and a half, three and three quarters, there's a semiquaver missing at the end and it's a G. So what I can do is if I escape, first of all, to make sure that nothing's selected. I can then grab a semiquaver there. My mouse again turns into a blue arrow saying where do you want to put it? And I want to put it there. And escape to finish. It's very similar to Sibelius from that point of view. You notice the beaming's wrong. Now I'm going to fix the beaming when I put it in Sibelius. So that's not a problem just now. So what doesn't it not read? It doesn't read, if you look up here, for example, in the full detail view, well, there's a chord symbol. It's not reading that. It's not reading lyrics. Actually, it doesn't read any text. If you look down here, there are no text in here, and that includes dynamics. It just reads the notes. Now, this is, if you look up here, Photoscore Lite. This is the Lite version that comes with Sibelius. If you were to spend a bit of extra money and buy Photoscore Ultimate, that will then read text as well, 
and it reads various other things as well. So it's if you're going to use this a lot, it might be worth making the upgrade. So I'm happy with this page here. Um, I'm now going to send it to Sibelius. But before I do that, if I had multiple pages of the thing of, of the, the, the book here, or multiple pages of the piece, I can then ask it to read the other pages and it would add them to the end of this page. I'm just going to do it for one page just now. Send to Sibelius. I'm now in Sibelius. This is a quick start in Sibelius. And it's asking me various questions. I'm going to let Sibelius choose the instruments for me because it's a piano part, so it's probably going to choose it fairly accurately. If it was a transposing score, if, for example, if I was reading um, a trumpet part, I would tell it it's a transposing score and then choose the instruments myself. But I'm, just going to, I'm not going to change anything here. I'm just going to click OK. And there's my score in Sibelius. Remember, we had this issue here, so I can just click on there and sort the beaming out from there. This is now a Sibelius file, and I can now carry on and edit it to my heart's content, doing exactly what I want to it, in exactly the same way as I would as if I'd put the notes in myself.